it's Nisha here and welcome to today's video. We are going to be testing out two methods that a lot of us are familiar with. First, I'm going to be doing the LOC method, which is leave-in or liquid, but I say leave-in because most of my leave-ins are not liquid. So leave-in, oil, and then cream in order to really lock in the moisture in your hair. And then I'm also going to be trying the L. CB method, which is leave-in or liquid, cream, and then butter. I've kind of been experimenting with both separately, and so I just want to see which one is going to give me the most moisture throughout the entire week from today until I wash my hair next Saturday, Sunday. Before we get into testing out these two methods, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week. So if you're subscribed, you didn't hit that notification bell, you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and hop into this little experimentation. Okay y'all, so I've already done my wash day. I pre-pooed my hair and I actually tried a new pre-poo. So if you have not seen my most recent video, I'll go ahead and link it in the cards for you so you can see what bomb pre-poo I use for my hair and then of course I wash conditioned and all of that good stuff so now we are gonna go in to the styling so for my leave-in I'm gonna go in with a leave-in I haven't used in a while but I remember liking it and it's from Sultanicals and this is the mango dip detangling slip I do have a review on this and a bunch of other Sultanicals products that I did a while ago I think like a year ago now so I'll go ahead and link that in the cards for you all but I'm just gonna go Go ahead and we're gonna start from the front today I don't know why but we just are so this is like a nice lightweight as in consistency but super moisturizing leave-in conditioner and it smells like mangoes and I love anything that smells fruity in my hair Okay, so I've gone ahead and added my leave-in to this front section. I'm gonna add the leave-in to the rest of my hair as well, but um, I also like to go ahead and add my oil into my hair as I'm adding the leave-in. So I figured to let me go ahead and share with y'all the oil that I'll be using. So I'm gonna be using my trusty Niche Beauty Polished hair and scalp oil. I am going to be doing the LOC method on this side, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Add this on top of that leave-in on the section. So we've already got the L and the O, the leave-in and the oil on this side. So I went ahead and wiped off my hands so that there is no like oil residue or anything like that left on my hands. And so we're just going to go ahead and add just the leave-in on this side. Just because I like to go in and add the cream and the butter to so the C and the B at the same time. I, I don't know. There's a method to my madness. It's just the way I like to do it. So going to go ahead and add just the leave-in to this side and then I'll be back. that I'm going to be using for both sides is the Blueberry Bliss Twist and Shout Cream. And I absolutely love this because not only does it give me definition, but it's also very moisturizing as well. And it smells just like blueberries like this. I just smell it. It's like so good. I don't really use a lot of curls products, but this Blueberry Bliss line is gold. It really is. So I'm going to use that on both sides and then for the butter on this side, I'm going to be using a butter that I just recently tried and really liked and that is the Magical Butter from Main Crush. This is from their Enchanted Collection that's meant for the fall and the winter. I'm just going to go ahead and just add the cream throughout my hair. So I'm actually going to do 
flat twist because I kind of want to do a protective style and just see um, how the moisture lasts in my hair while my hair is kind of, you know, still twisted up. And then after maybe like four or five days, I will take it down and we'll see how the moisture lasts once my hair is down. Because you know like when your hair is twisted up, braided up, it kind of helps to lock in the moisture. Well, I also want to see what my hair is going to feel like after I've let my hair down for a couple of days and we've let like the environment and I don't know what the weather is going to be like in Georgia. It's that time of year where it's cold one day, it's hot one day. So we're just going to let the environment <laughs> determine what it wants to do with my hair whether it's dry air or humid air we'll see but just gonna go ahead and flat twist and then I'll show y'all once I'm all done done applying all of the products to my hair and flat twisting my hair out so like I mentioned before on this left side your right side I did the LOC method and then on this right side your left I use the LCB method I just did a nice little flat twist protective style I'm gonna let these sit in for a couple of days I'll let y'all know if I feel like a difference um, while these twists are still on my head and then maybe on Thursday or Friday we'll take them down and do like a flat twist out and wear out for a couple of days and let you know if I feel a difference in the moisturization in my hair. So yeah, yeah, I'm really excited to see, you know, which, which side is going to give me that moisture that I need. So I will see y'all in a couple of days. So I have gone ahead and taken down my flat twist. It's actually been like five days, I think. So I did my hair Saturday, so my flat twists were in Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today is Thursday, and it's Thursday night. I meant to take these out earlier, but it's been a day. But anyways, um, so I wasn't expecting to get this cute of a flat twist out. Like this is really cute. I'm not mad at it, but anyways, so after my twists um, have been in since Sunday or since Saturday, this is what my hair looks like. It's still very shiny. It still feels very moisturized, but I will say that the butter side feels slightly more moisturized, and my hair seems to be a little bit softer on this side as compared to this side, and like I said, all the products that I used uh, to flat twist my hair, the leave-in and the cream, were the same. The only things that I switched out were the oil and then the butter. I really think that the butter helped to make my hair nice and soft. My hair is still very moisturized on both sides, but like I said, 
this side seems to be a little bit more moisturized for now. So I'm going to also just let my hair kind of be out and about. Um, just because I know when you do twist up your hair, that tends to lock in the moisture. So now that my hair is unraveled, I want to see how long that moisture lasts. So today is Thursday. I'll come back Saturday. I'll probably wash my hair on Saturday. So I'll come back before I wash it and just let you know how the moisture has lasted thus far. And then we can just round up our thoughts of this LOC method versus the LCB method. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. I had every intention of coming back yesterday, but yesterday got a little busy. So I'm back today, which actually works even better. So you get an extra day of wear. I don't want to say tear, but extra day of wear on my hair. So this is what my hair is looking like. I can go ahead and tell you both sides are still moisturized. I'm trying to fill. I will say that now on this, I guess this is day eight because I did my hair last Saturday. So it's been a full week plus a day. On day eight, I don't really tell a difference in moisture in my hair. Moisture is still there, which I love, um, especially for eight days, because sometimes some of the products we use or humidity is involved, different elements are involved, your hair gets dry like after four days. But my hair stayed nice and moisturized. I will say that the butter side does feel softer. So even though moisture I would f I feel is the same, yeah, the butter side is softer. So overall, I noticed that keeping my twist and my flat twist in, my butter side or the LC, yeah, the LCB method was more moisturized initially. But I noticed that over time, this side started to lose more moisture and so now it's pretty even. But the butter side, the LCB side, does feel softer. So I feel like because the butter I use is a combination of like shea butter and oils, that's what helps seal, seal in the moisture a little bit more than just an oil. But it's all about preference. I know some people don't really like shea butter or heavy butters. Their hair can't really take it. So maybe being um, light-handed with an oil for the LOC method might work best for you. If your hair is super thick like mine, maybe using a butter might be helpful. But I'll just say that for me, it seems like regardless of what method I use, my hair does stay moisturized for the most part. Especially if I keep my hair twisted up for a couple of days, which I typically do, because um, I'm usually in no rush to take down my twist. So I think as long as you recognize that, okay, my hair needs a little bit of help, it's not retaining moisture like I want it to, just adding in my normal products, let me try the LOC method. Let me try the LCO method. You might want to reverse the oil and the cream. Let me try the LCB method. Just try something and see what works for you. I do like the fact that this side of my hair feels softer. So if I have to go with the method, I'd say I'd go with the LCB method, but only when slightly because my hair is still moisturized, which is amazing. But I hope y'all enjoyed this experiment. Let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer the LOC method? Do you prefer the LCB method? Do you prefer a different method that I haven't mentioned in this video? Girl, I don't know what other methods are out there exactly, but <laughs> just let me know down below in the comment section. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye!